Hello, welcome to my kitchen. This is one thing that I love to have, and it is a good salad dressing in the refrigerator. Something that I don't have to think about. I can just cut up some greens and uh, let it get to room temperature, and I'm good to go. To me, the best things about a uh, good dressing is your balsamics. <clears throat> and I tend to mix some from Trader Joe's, the white Modena, and the orange musket champagne vinegar. I love. I call them balsamics, and they kind of are, but not really. But I love them because they're not too intense. You can use regular balsamic as well, but I would slow that down because it's pretty intense. And the, these are some olive oils that I use as well. I think when Ever you're cooking or making anything, the idea of good ingredients really matters. I feel very deeply about local foods, about grass-fed cows, about happy butter and happy eggs and all those sorts of things because I think it makes a difference. I think it does and I care about what I put into my body. So what we're going to put into our uh, dressing today is shallots. And I peeled them just a little bit ago and they smell so amazing. Shallots are like... Uh, I don't know, kind of a refined onion. They have a very slight flavor. They are French and they're amazing. I love to use them in a dressing because it doesn't overpower it. And then for Dijon's, I choose a couple of them because a regular straight Dijon is really strong, but when you add the aioli garlic, it's quite nice. So we're gonna get started by dicing up the shallots. And in the recipe, I say, if you don't have a blender or something that chops things up, Chop it on a breadboard, chop it on a cutting board, and you're gonna be just fine. Here we go. Soft little dice. Excellent. And I put four kind of funny sized shallots in there, which is more than the recipe calls for. So I'm going to um, compensate by putting in more um, Dijon. And I tend to just approximate one of my best friends that taught me how to cook in Los Angeles said, Audrey, I don't use measurements. I'm like, Vinny, I'm starting to get it because I don't either. So I said six tablespoons um, and I'm putting in probably four of the really mild stuff and then just a couple, can you see that, of the real strong stuff because that is a serious business. So anyway, they give this another little mix. Oh. And next thing we're gonna do is add the balsamic or vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar, you can use red wine vinegar, you can use strong balsamic like we talked about before, or can you, you can use these fabulous, wonderful things from Trader Joe's which is what I prefer. And you're gonna do two thirds of a cup of vinegar. Pour that guy in. I'm gonna get the stuff off the sides because there's a lot of hanging on. And the olive oil is supposed to be drizzled in. And so what I'm first going to do is get my top prepared. So with this guy, I can take the inside out and I can put it back on. And what I do is I put a little bit of oil over the top to keep out splatters. And then I put in a funnel because I'm worried about cleaning. I don't like finding oil in the kitchen. So I put that in and that's how I'm going to drizzle in my olive oil. So for my olive oil, I'm using this fabulous California olive oil. And I'm probably going to do more than a half of that because it is good stuff metered. And then I'm going to top it off with some extra virgin olive oil from my friend Trader Joe. So now this is when it gets hard. If you don't have a blender and you chop this all by hand and now you're gonna start whisking, this is gonna take a lot of arm strength because you have to keep whisking while you drizzle. So 
It's hard work, but it makes salad dressing worth it. So anyway, we're gonna start on the blender side. And you just want to slowly drizzle it in. The color of the oil is really this The key to this is that you're whisking it up while you're adding the oil so that it's being emulsified. And Dijon mustard, any kind of mustard helps with it, um, emulsification. But this idea that you're adding air as you're adding the oil keeps the oil and the vinegar and everything else separated so you don't have to do this big shape thing with the greens. And that's what I love about this dressing. I used to make my dressing all the time, but I always have to shake it or the oil get right on the top. This is a completely different story. And I think it's because of the slowness of the olive. Um, addition, but it's also that you're adding air, which is why when you're doing it on your own at home without a appliance, you're using a whisk or a big spoon and you're doing a lot of stirring. So we're almost done with one cup of oil. And sometimes when I get to this stage, I look at the consistency of the dressing and I say, uh, maybe a little more oil. It doesn't seem heavy enough. I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to taste it. Because one of the most important things you can do as you create things is to taste it. I used to hate to do that. I want to say, I'm going to save it. I want to do it at the end. You wait till the end and you're like, oh my goodness, too much salt, not enough cream. What have you. And you're in, you're stuck there. So this is not a surprise. Lovely. I don't want to just sound like a, a chef on TV, but really lovely. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to add the lemon juice. And the lemon juice adds a brightness. And when I first heard him say bright, I'm like, what does that mean? You'll notice if you taste it before you put the lemon in and then after, it brings a brightness to the dressing. Just like a fresh, I'm yummy goodness to your dress. So I'm going to add that in. And then the key to this dressing, to keep them separated forever, is that you let this go on maybe, I say a minute, but in a Vitamix it can become soup in a minute and a half, so don't push that in. So anyway, here we go. Hold on. I think that was less than a minute, but I'm dying to see this. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Fabulous. Really nice. I'm glad I stopped it when I did because it was starting to get warm. No, really nice. Probably a little too strong on the Dijon. I might have gone a little too hard with this stuff. But anyway, salad dressing. What I do now is what I don't use tonight for dinner, I put it in a big jar of this stand and I put them in that and I keep it in the fridge and I use it until I use it up and I, what I do is I let it get to room temperature and then it's ready for all my greens. There you go. Hope you enjoy it.